you. Today I'm going to introduce our speaker, Jenna Atkinson of Jenna Atkinson Consulting. And uh, what Jenna does is she helps you to achieve success in your career and in your life. Uh, she does have a lot of street cred. <laughs> and I'm not going to do her justice, but I'll give you a few of them. She writes for In Business Magazine and the Huffington Post. She has a podcast called Growth Bomb that comes out uh, twice a week. Um, she's in it for eight months or so now. I guess it's growing, and uh, you can find it on iTunes. She got married at Lambeau Field, which is <laughs> so awesome, and you won't forget her. <laughs> and tomorrow she's heading to Jamaica, so don't be too jealous. <laughs> Today she's going to give us tips for building your network to achieve the success you seek in your life and career. Jen? Thank you. Oh my gosh, was anyone else breathing? Sorry, I was like standing in the back. I had to like jog in place for a second. I was like, team would be chattering up here. All right, so I don't have a clicker, so I'm going to rely on Bethy here. She's got it, right? Um, so. Jason was kind enough to call and Dave by local was kind enough to ask me to come speak on networking. It's a topic that I speak on a lot locally and nationally. So I was looking like, okay, I can't be talking about the same thing again. Obviously networking is not a new topic and I'm like I can't have another clip art of a person standing on a mountain or shaking hands or doing that. So I had Borat and I feel like, uh, you guys know Borat? Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many of you heard, like, are thinking him saying that in your mind or not? Great success. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so 2016, I think networking is so much more than just networking, building relationships, great organizations like Dane by Local. It's really about making this year, or whatever year, your most successful year yet. So that's what I want to call my presentation, instead of just networking. Okay, so but before I talk about networking, obviously since it's not a new topic for hopefully anyone, I want to give you guys all a 2016 trend hopefully help warm myself up and you guys up. How many of you guys have heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? Oh my gosh, okay, here's, okay, everyone else, you need to take out a piece of paper and a pen or get your notes thing out on your phone because I really want you to take some of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about and make it actionable today or this week for sure. So, number one, if you haven't heard of Gary Vaynerchuk, here's what you need to do. Google him, go to YouTube, he has a new show, well not new anymore, it's a couple hundred episodes, but. It's called Ask Gary V. And he's the CEO of a company called Vayner Media. He became first famous for um, growing his dad's wine company called Wine Library from like a million dollars to $500 million in a super short amount of time. So now he has this huge, huge media company. Can you keep looking at those? He has two really popular books. One more time. Two popular books. One's called Crush It and one's called Jab, Jab, Right Hook. If you guys haven't read these books, highly, highly, highly recommend. Super, super good. Um, one thing that he's really well known for and really good at is predicting like media and social media trends. He was huge on Twitter before Twitter was big. He was huge on YouTube before YouTube was big. He's um, an angel investor in some of the biggest social media platforms. You can click one more time. So um, for 2016, what he's predicting is to be the biggest, most influential, highest engagement social media platform for business is Snapchat. How many of you guys are on Snapchat? Not enough. Okay, here's another to do on your paper. You guys need to go on your phone and you need to download Snapchat. It's free, totally free. And this is what's going to warm up because I'm on Snapchat now because I listen to every, everything Gary Vee says. So I'm going to take a video. What Snapchat does, for those of you guys who don't know, is it takes a quick video or a picture and you can send it directly to an individual person or you can make it your story and then anyone that follows you can see it. But then after a certain amount of time, it goes away. And Gary Vaynerchuk is talking about how this is the highest engagement social media platform he's ever, ever seen. Highest engagement. So if you're a business, specifically a local business, and you have a Snapchat channel, so if you're the owner of the business or whoever, and you're posting stories about what you have going on, it helps to build your brand and get people involved with what you're doing. If you have specials going on, just cool stories, whatever. So here's what I want you to do, because I want to add you all to my Snapchat story today for uh, Dane by Local so I can chat about you. I know you haven't heard much of what I had to say yet, but it's freezing. So I want you to all cheer and clap really loud. And if you get Snapchat, you can go on there. Um, my name is Jenna Webbs, W-E-B-S, because it was before I got married, whoever was my last name. 
Um, so follow me at Jenna West, and then you can see this story. All right. So I want everyone to clap really loud. It'll help you warm up too. So do it. Let's hear some cheers for Dame by Local. You can see this cool evidence of Dane by Local on there. All right, I'll post that in a minute. All right, go ahead. So if you already know everything about networking, hopefully you already learned a tip and got some to do. Is check out Gary Vayner's truck stuff. Ask Gary, ask Gary V his two books and get Snapchat if you don't have that already. Okay, so now the networking success stuff. How many of you guys, what's the date, January 12th, how many of you guys set New Year's resolutions for 2016? Really? No one? You set goals for 2016? Okay, so those are you guys who set resolutions or goals for 2016, whether it's business related, lose weight, get more sales, grow your business, whatever. You can go to the next one. How many of you guys have already failed at doing that or didn't start doing that? If you can't see this, it says, this is a tweet of like, my New Year's resolution is to think more positively, but I don't think it will work out. <laughs> um, so New Year's resolutions are really hard to hit and goals are hard to hit, but I'm gonna talk about some strategies you can use with networking and relationship building that whether it's personal or business will help you achieve those goals. Okay, so <laughs> so I kind of had this idea in my head and I'm thinking, so I go to Google and I type in number one secret for and I'm gonna type success because I have this idea of what I'm gonna talk about in my head, but I wanna see all the things that come up. Also, you know how when you go to Google, it like automatically fills the most popular searches? <laughs> so I type number one secret to, the number one thing people are Googling is how to find the right fitting bra. <laughs> no real secret, so ladies, look out. But So I typed in number one secret for success, and a ton of things came up, but for me personally, in my experience, and a lot of successful that I've talked to for my columns, for my interviews, for my podcast, the number one key to success is the right relationships. The right partnerships, the right people on your team, the right coaches, the right mentors, the right relationships are going to drive your success. And that's why networking is so incredibly, incredibly important. And even if you feel like you've heard about networking a million times, you can always get better. Oh, Becky's distracted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so like I said, I talk about networking a lot. And this is, if you saw me present at all in 2015, this was kind of the theme I had when I talked to people about networking. So creating win-win relationships to reach your goals. Meh, okay, it was all right. Go ahead. Um, you, can, you can't see this at all, but um, so these are the kind of the steps that, no, I can't even read this, kind of the steps that I talked about too, but it was setting goals, create a strategy, be specific in who you're talking about, do your homework, add value, um, ask for what you want, and follow up. If you guys want these slides or you want to chat any more about any of this stuff, um, shoot me an email and I can send it because I know this is hard to see. But those were the things I talked about in my presentation in 2015. Um, this really is not how my presentation looks you guys. <laughs> One of your goals for Dane by Local for 2016, Colin, lure an IT company <laughs> to help. All right, so networking. Um, I think local, a lot of times, is, it's great. I think local is so, so important, and all of you guys working together to create local success is incredibly important. But I think when it comes to networking, and something that I personally was doing when I tried to build my network and my business locally, was I thought really small. And I think a lot of times people correlate local to small, and that does not and should not be the case. Go ahead. So small thinking leads to small actions, go ahead. And that leads to small results. So whether that's networking or anything that you do in your business, goal setting, whatever. If you think small, you're gonna act small, and you're gonna get small results. So you need to flip that around. So actually, over the 2015, speaking about networking, um, I had a lot of different opportunities, did a lot of new things, learned a lot of new things, and here's a strategy I learned, it's called ILT. Invest, learn, teach. So if you wanna be successful, invest in your own development, your own success, learn new things, and then teach other people. So hopefully that's a little bit of what I'll do today, but over 2015, I used that strategy, invest, learn, teach, and I learned a lot of new things and new strategies that were even more effective when it came to networking and thinking big, even when it impacted my business on a local level. I actually wrote this article for the Huffington Post at the end of last year called Five Steps to Grow Your Network with Influencers and Million Dollar Contacts. How many of you guys want influencers and million dollar contacts in your network? Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Hopefully everyone, right? Go ahead. 
<clears throat> so here's the new process and new strategies, I think, for really thinking big, getting big actions, and getting big results, even as a local business. So I think the core is still set, um, starting with setting SMART goals. And originally when I talked about SMART goals in terms of networking, I would think of and talk about things like, how many new people do you want to meet this month? Or how many events are you going to go to? And it was specifically networking related goals. What I found to be more effective is set your overarching business goals and then tie in how networking and relationships can help you achieve those faster or more effectively. So for example, maybe last year my goal was I want to meet 20 new people each month that could help my business or 20 new prospects each month that could help my business. Now my goal at the end, towards the end of 2015, I said, okay, I need to try something new. So. Um, as she mentioned in the intro, I have this podcast called Growth Bomb, and it's twice a week, and I interview top entrepreneurs and executives across the country. And so one of my big goals I decided at the end of last year, as I started building this podcast, was, okay, now I have this cool audience, I really think it's gonna be some good content, I have some awesome speakers that can provide a lot of value, but I don't wanna put all this time into it, and I'm not getting paid anything, right? So one of my big goals was, I want to, be making $5,000 a month with my podcast by X date. It was February 1st, I think, 2016. So that was my overarching business goal. So when you're thinking of networking, don't think of just a specific networking goal. Think of your overall business goal and make sure it's art. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. I can't tell you guys how many I work, how many times I work with organizations or give presentations like this and there's like a little work time and I say, okay guys, here's what SMART goals are. I'm gonna give you some time, think about your SMART goal, and then we're gonna take some examples. And people don't hit all these criteria. They don't have a deadline, they don't have a specific. It should be super black and white, yes or no, I did not accomplish it by this date. No gray area. So really, really make sure they're SMART. Go ahead. Um, so this is a really cool thing, and I'll talk about it more in a second. It just came out, um, and I have a couple connections to this now, but it's called the Freedom Journal, and I am obsessed. I have no, like, gain and talking about this, but I just absolutely love it. I've always been a goal-driven person, um, but this has even elevated how I've been able to set and accomplish goals even better. Go to thefreedomjournal.com and it gives you this like basically journal um, that helps you accomplish your biggest goal in 100 days and stay on track. I've been using it so awesome. <clears throat> so the second part, once you have your overall business goal, is still be specific. But when you are specific about who could be your strategic partner or person that could help you, think really big. Just because you're a local company doesn't mean you can't think on a national level. Colin was talking about, you know, even you're a member of what's Amoeba now, so the national group for local organizations. If you go to that bigger, maybe national partner or group, they can bring that, help you bring back ideas that will help you thrive even more locally. So for me, my goal with the podcast was to grow you know, my podcast and monetize it, grow the audience, monetize it to a certain level. So I went on Google and I said, okay, number one business podcast, most successful business podcast. Any of you guys listen to podcasts? A little bit? Okay, you need to start, you should start with Growth Bomb, I hear it's great. Free on iTunes, on your iPhone, <laughs> you can download it. Um, so I look on there and there's um, this guy called John Lee Dumas and he has a, a show called Entrepreneur on Fire. It's seven days a week and he interviews entrepreneurs on strategies that they've used to grow their business and struggles they've faced, blah, blah, blah. What's incredible about his podcast is in three years, he started it three years ago, so still pretty new, he generates $250,000 a month. $250,000 a month. That's $3 million a year with his podcast. $3 million a year, over a million unique listens per month, and they've won a ton of honors and awards, podcasting top, best of business, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, this guy clearly is where I want to be going. He knows what he's doing, he's killing it, he's making a ton of money, has an awesome show, huge following. This is the guy I need to talk to. So I'm sitting at my house, like on Google in my sweatpants, like, I need to meet this guy making $250,000 a year. Okay, go ahead. So I look at Google, and the third thing you need to do is once you have your goals, you identify the specific company or organization, whatever, and then that specific individual within that company that could help you, or organization. 
You need to invest in yourself and you need to take action. Whether that's a con attending a conference to meet someone in person or getting a Madison Club membership to bring them to a nice lunch or taking them to a Badger game, whatever. Invest your money. I hear people all the time saying, oh, I'm a new business and a smaller business. I don't have money to invest in that. If it's important to you and it's important to your success and you truly think it'll provide you the value that you think it will, it's worth your investment because you're gonna see that tenfold if it works out. So I Google John Lee Dumas, I Google Entrepreneur on Fire, <clears throat> and I find out that he's speaking at this conference. It's called Drive, Drive in Las Vegas. So I've never been to Las Vegas. I'm Jenna, I'm from Green Bay, sitting in Madison. I've never been to Las Vegas. I go to my husband, Matt. Matt, there's this conference in Las Vegas, and um, this guy I really want to meet is there. It's a couple thousand bucks. I'm gonna go, okay? He goes, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to Vegas to meet this guy, is like, I think what I told him. Um, so he's like looking at me like, okay, you lost, you have literally lost your mind. Like, you've lost your mind. And it, like during this time too, like I found his email and emailed him, but he's getting literally millions of listeners and views and whatever a month. Like, he doesn't care what I have to say. So I don't hear back from him. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I talk my lovely husband into it that, even with my business being new, I'm gonna spend a couple thousand dollars to fly to Las Vegas to meet a guy that I've never talked to at this conference. By the way, this conference was incredible. So John Lee Dumas was one of the speakers there, Entrepreneur on Fire, but it was Robert Kirchhoff, Gary Vaynerchuk was there, um, Keith Frazzi who wrote Never Eat Alone, Lewis House, just like incredible, like every book that I love, they were there. And if you guys ever want book recommendations, let me know, because I love them. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna invest this money and I'm gonna go meet this guy. Take action. Go ahead. So I do some homework even more on Johnny Dukes. I'm like cyber stalking him at this point, which is totally okay because no one knows you're doing this, you guys. But it'll make you look really good in the end. Just don't mention like how many hours he spent Googling them. <laughs> so he, um, so I find out he has this project coming out that's being released. So this was, the conference is in October. He has this big project coming out that he's doing all these interviews for called the Freedom Journal that's coming out January 4th, 2016. So I go, okay, how can I add value to a guy that's already making $250,000 a month that has millions of listeners? What can I do as Jenna from Madison, Wisconsin with a you know fairly new business, how can I possibly add value to that? One thing to think about is all businesses are looking for more promotion. They're looking for more eyes. They're looking for more publicity of what they have going on. So even though he already has millions of viewers, he's looking for more, right? Growth, always looking for growth. So there's three ways that you can create an audience or get an audience. And I think the first one is what people always think of, and that's buy. So if you do any type of advertising, you're buying views, right? You're buying eyes. The second one is build. So that's when you cultivate your own community or your mailing list or your um, you know, customers, whatever. But as a fairly new business, you know, maybe I only had a couple thousand when he had millions. So for me to say, well, I have a couple thousand people I can send this out to, he'd probably be like, I don't care that much. <laughs> but the third one is borrow. And how you can do that is, I write for the Huffington Post, I write for Success Magazine. If you saw my article in um, December in In Business, it was about John Lee Dumas in the Freedom Journal. I write for Inc., I write for Entrepreneur, I write for some pretty big sources that have millions of views too. So I'm like, all right, what I'm gonna do is help him promote this new project and then I'll get to meet him because I'm providing him value with my borrowed audience. I didn't even make it. I'm using someone else's audience to provide value to him. Go ahead. Um, so that's, that's my plan in my head. When I get there, I'm gonna talk to him about how I'm gonna add value and I wanna do an interview so I can do, you know, do these stories for him and help promote his new project. So I get there, I fly to Vegas, I'm, a, I'm there a day early, <clears throat> and the fifth thing you need to do is be open to new opportunities and get out from behind your keyboard. This guy's getting millions of emails, well maybe not millions of emails, but hundreds, maybe even thousands of emails a month from listeners, from sponsors, from partners, blah, blah, blah. The email I sent him was probably lost. He had no idea who I was. So I get to Vegas a day early, and there's like this Facebook group for the conference. <clears throat> And people are talking on there like, hey, can't wait to see everyone. Here's what we're talking about. What are your goals? Blah, blah, blah. And I get there a day early, and this guy, his name is Michael O'Neill, writes, 
I have a podcast called Solopreneur Hour. I've never heard of it. It's for like individual entrepreneurs. I have a podcast called Solopreneur Hour. I'm here a day early. I don't know anyone else. I'm grabbing a margarita and sitting by the pool if anyone wants to come be on my show. I'm like, pool, margarita, yeah, okay, I'll be on. So I look at the Facebook group. I send him a message. Hey, my name is Jenna. I'm here for the conference too. I'll come meet you down there. So I meet him down there and we're chatting. So I do a, a podcast show with Michael O'Neill, who I've never heard of before, but was just open to the idea. I had nothing, it was better than like sitting by myself, watching TV in the room or just doing emails by myself, right? So he goes, we do this podcast interview and he goes, um, this is really weird, but I'm, I'm waiting for the guy I'm sharing a room with for this conference to get here. His plane got delayed and um, I need to have a, I have a business meeting tonight. Do you mind if I come to your room and put dress clothes on? And I'm like, oh God, <laughs> like this, this dude is just trying to come to my room now. Right? It's like the afternoon, so it's not that weird. But I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, well, who's your roommate? And he goes, uh, I don't know. He's one of the presenters. And I go, who is it? Uh, John Lee Dumas, his name is. I was like, no shit. <laughs> well, this is great. This is great. So I'm like, oh yeah, come on, like come change, do whatever you want. I know. I'll just be outside. Like, if the room is yours, I'll get a new one. It's no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> so he comes up and he changes. He could, I hear him talking to John on the phone, like, hey bro, when are you gonna get here? I'm just changing this girl's room. I hear the, him on the other front. I'm like, when someone's on the phone, you can kind of hear the other person. He's like, <laughs> you're changing in our girl's room. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> craziness. So um, he goes, all right, well, I'm in the lobby right now. Meet, I'll, I'll, uh, I got the, the keys to the room, meet me at XYZ, here's our room. So now I go with Michael O'Neill to John Lee Dumas's room, who I've never met before. And I go, so I go and I, this guy is now like, oh, hey, here's my new friend, Jenna, and introduces me to the guy that I flew to Vegas to see. Thousands of people were there. But because I had a specific goal in the beginning, I was open to opportunities, I took some steps, and of course there's some luck involved in that too, don't get me wrong. But luck is when preparedness meets opportunities. If I hadn't done those things in the beginning, that never would have happened. So go ahead. So the next thing you need to do is become more. And I hear a lot of people that say like, oh, this is a really cool story, Jenna, or like these things happen, or you get these opportunities. Um, I really wish I could add some, some of those people to my network. Here's one thing that you need to do. If you want to meet awesome people and have awesome people in your network, you need to be awesome. <laughs> and I'm not going to say I'm super awesome, but you need to be more than this. Are you someone that you would want to hang out with? Are you someone that you would want to add to your network? You need to take those steps, whether it's professional development or doing interesting things personally, find a hobby, do something that makes you stand apart and makes you interesting for other people. Because if you're sitting on the couch all day or sitting at your desk all day and then you go home and watch The Bachelor all night long and then go back to work, like you can only talk about The Bachelor so long. I gotta do something else. I need to know cool things. I need to know that you can add value to my network or to my business or whatever I'm trying to do as well. So you want more, you need to be more and take those steps to whatever that is to make you at that level. So the next thing you need to do is ask. So I meet John Lee Dumas, we're uh, the guy I flew to Vegas to see. We go to the clubs together, we hang out, do all this awesome stuff. So I get to know him, I have his number, we're texting. We're like, me and JLD are like buddies now, right? After this couple of days. So I get back to, uh, um, and I did write the article for him for Success Magazine, you can see it too, and a couple other articles. But um, So I get back to Green Bay and my whole goal was Remember, I wanted to monetize my podcast. Not just meet this guy, but use him as basically a coach, mentor, to help me get the steps to reach the goal that I wanted to achieve. So I shoot him a text and I go, hey, JLD, have a, have a minute to uh, jump on Skype. I want to talk to you about something that I'm trying to work on in 2016 and I think you'd really be able to help me with it. He goes, yeah, no problem. So he jumps on Skype and I'm like, hey, it was really awesome spending the weekend with you in Vegas. I thought your speech was awesome. I really like respect everything you're doing. I think it's really cool. One of my big goals for 2016 is I want to monetize my podcast to X dollars by this time. He goes, Jen, I love it. That's incredible. I go, okay, great. Are you, can you help me do it? Will you like shoot me some tips or we can set up some coaching or mentoring calls or whatever? And he goes, no. <laughs> and I was like, ah, okay. But we had such a fun time. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were like laughing. And, but he's, 
you know, makes $250,000 a month. He has big projects going on and he goes, okay, I can't do it personally. I don't do any one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I think you're fun. I think you're whatever. You could be successful at this. I'm not gonna personally do it, but I have a great person that can help you do it. So he introduced me, introduced me to this other guy who has a new podcast, well not new, a good podcast called Read to Lead Podcast. His name is Jeff Brown. And John goes, I worked with Jeff personally myself, and he does all the things that I can do and better. So I'm like, okay, sweet. So he introduced me to Jeff. He helped me launch this new membership site called Growth Bomb Elite, which has exclusive content based on my podcast, and did a bunch of stuff to help me achieve this goal that I wanted to achieve. Go ahead. So here's some of the results that I got from following these simple steps of networking. But there's me and John doing this at the Congress, by the way. So, I know someone at the top of a relevant industry on a first name basis, we text, we chat. John Lee Dumas was on my podcast, which he doesn't hardly do any guest podcasts anymore because he already has a huge viewership. He made a testimonial video about my membership site. He took his own time to do a video that said, you guys, Growth on the Leap, podcast, membership site, you guys need to become a member, blah, blah, blah. You can go see the video on my website, it is awesome. That would have cost thousands of dollars if he would even do it at all, if I was an unknown person. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a guest on his podcast in February, which to even apply to be considered to be a guest is $1,000. So I didn't pay that, he asked me to be a guest. I don't know what it cost to actually be one. Um, but I'll be a guest on that. And then I don't think you can see the last one on there, but um, now I have this ongoing relationship and ongoing follow-up opportunity to chat with him and work with him on new projects and he can help me with new projects and he knows who I am because I was physically there. We spent time together, we built a relationship. It wasn't just that email, always relying on emails. Sometimes you have to physically be in person to make those connections that'll last. And of course, that will, all those other things too. So here's some of the other cool stuff because of network strategies, and I don't have that much time, but otherwise I'd tell you these ones things too. So while I was at this conference too, by using these same strategies, I met Gary Vaynerchuk, I got to gamble in the high rollers room, which is $500,000 a day, by the way, which I did not spend. Um, got to gamble in the high rollers room, got to go to this minus five ice bar for free. You guys know Lewis Howes? Oh, man. Colin, have me back. I need to talk for 30 more hours. Okay. <laughs> Lewis Howes just put out a book called The School of Greatness, also has a podcast called The School of Greatness, incredible. Met him, interviewed him, got to go to a penthouse suite, got a free VIP um, booth at one of the big new clubs there. I also spent most of the conference backstage, and I did not pay. And I got secret tips that I can tell you about how I got to do that too, but it's all about finding ways to provide value. Find ways to provide value. And I think even as a new business or a local business, it's hard to, like what did I as a new, fairly new business from Madison, Wisconsin have that could be valuable to these people that are multi-millionaires that would get me backstage the whole time and VIP access them all the time. Find those things that are outside the box and if you can't provide the exact value right now, tie people into the vision of where you're going. Okay, maybe I don't have a multi-million dollar business now, but you damn well, well better believe that I'm going to. And here's the steps that I'm taking. And here's how I'm gonna be able to help you when I get there. And if you're one of the first people to support me and partner with me now, it's really gonna pay off for you then. And what's the risk for you now? A couple minutes of your time or whatever. So think big. Those are some of the other cool things. So here's some action items for you. If you didn't already write a couple on your piece of paper, but you just click through all these. And there's eight. So here's the new and improved uh, steps to thinking big, big networking, big action, big results. Set your SMART goals, but not specifically networking goals, your business SMART goals, and then tie in networking, what business could help you have the biggest impact. And then specifically within that business, who's the person that you need to contact? That can be locally too, you guys. Just because my example is national, there's a ton of local businesses that can help you have this kind of impact too. So be specific who would have the largest impact, invest in yourself and take action, physically put yourself in the places that you need to be to make these relationships happen. 
obviously you guys all have a lot of things that you can do for each other online. You guys can see who all RSVP for this meeting. How many of you took time to look through that and say, these are the three people this morning I want to meet? Any of you? Yeah, maybe. Tip for next time. So identify those specific people. Do your homework and add value. What projects do they have coming up? What are their goals? What are the things that you can do to help propel them to success faster? Because if you can help them get success faster, they're gonna wanna help you as well. Be open to new opportunities. Don't hide behind your keyboard. Become more. Do you guys wanna hang out with you? If you don't, you need to change that. <laughs> You need to be exciting, you need to be awesome, you need to be the best at what you do if you want to pe work with people that are awesome and exciting and the best at what they do. Ask for what you want, it's okay to hear no, look for alternatives. I was really hoping to work with John, he said no, he sent me to this other coach. Oh, and I, did I mention, he paid that coach for me. I don't pay that coach. Couple thousand dollars a month. JLD pays this guy to coach me because of the value that I could add to JLD stuff. Um, and then the last one is just have ongoing consistent communication to explore new win-win opportunities with people. So here's some resources that you should check out. Of course the Freedom Journal. I know this is uh, John's project, but I don't get any like benefit for talking about this. I just use it myself and I truly, truly, like, it's amazing. Um, Thefreedomjournal.com. You can check out my podcast, Growth Bomb Podcast, on iTunes, specifically episode number 28. It's with a guy named Mark Lack who um, is who I wrote about in the Huffington Post article about million dollar contacts and influencers. Um, two books, if you want more information on marketing, or marketing, networking strategy, there's a ton of really good ones. One that I always re recommend for networking strategy is called Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. He also has a second one called Who's Got Your Back? And then if you're looking for one that's more on like the logistics of networking, like how do I work a room, how do I have a good handshake, how do I have a good elevator sp speech, blah, blah, blah. There's one called Networking Like a Pro by Ivan Meisner, who started um, BNI. So if you're looking for some of those basics, you can go with that. Of course, of course, of course, have an updated LinkedIn profile. It's the first thing that comes up because it's tied with Google. If someone Googles your name and you don't have a lot of other online presence. And then Insightly is a CRM system. If you don't already have one, there's free versions or really low cost versions. And this is really important for networking because it helps you keep track of those follow-ups. So when you start to grow your network and you have more things going on, Insightly can say, okay, call bubble out of it, email bubble out of it, and it helps you keep those, those wheels rolling instead of just dropping off after you do the one project or thing together. <clears throat> so follow and subscribe. Everyone, hopefully today, get Snapchat now on your phone. You can follow me at Jenna Webbs. Um, Growth Bomb Podcast on iTunes or it's growthbombpodcast.com. I have a lot of awesome guests. A lot of them now are national, but some still really cool local ones. We had uh, Jack Salzwedel, CEO of American Family, Galen Brodish from Ambrosia's Chocolates, Ian from Ian's Pizza. Um, so some pretty cool ones and great strategies on how to be successful and grow your business and become more personally successful. And if you go to, go back one more. Um, if you go to jennaatkinsonconsulting.com slash free gift, there's a bunch of resources on there, a free ebook, it's called uh, Jumpstart, some tips to skyrocket your success. So some free stuff you can check out there. Here's a big one. So you guys all come here, you wanna grow your business, you want 2016 to be your most successful year yet. Great success, very nice. Um, terrible bore ad impression. What is your number one goal for the next 100 days? I think where a lot of people fail with their goals or with their resolutions is they don't have accountability partners. I wanna be that partner for you. I want to be that partner for you, so if you are serious about your success, serious about 2016, I want you to send me an email. I want you to send me an email that tells me what's your number one goal for the next 100 days, and who that person is, or what that business is, that could help you have the biggest impact in accomplishing that goal. And throughout that 100 days, I'm going to shoot you an email, and I'm going to follow up with you. I'm going to say, hey, how's it going? What's your, what's your roadblocks? How's it going? How can I help? totally free, I just want you guys to be successful. So if you're serious, and I don't know how many people in this room, but I'm really uh, interested to see how many, because this is an offer that I've um, given to a small number of groups, and the amount of people that say they're serious about their success, serious about their goals, serious about growing their network, and then the number of people that email me after is not the same. So 
Let's see how serious you guys are about your success in 2016. Go ahead. Just a last thought. You attract what you are, not what you want. If you want to be great, then be great. You want success, be successful. So think about that. Here's uh, all the social media stuff you can follow me at. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, there's hours of stuff I could talk about on networking, networking strategy, goal setting. But if you guys want to talk about any more of that or have questions about anything else or I can be a resource for you in any other way, Jenna at JennaAtkinsonConsulting.com and I am glad to help out. So cheers to your 2016 success, you guys. Thanks for having me.